Oh, hey there. Didn't see ya. I've, I'm busy uh, focusing on the road, but that doesn't mean I can't talk. First off, let me apologize for posting this so late. My life has been crazy. I am on day one of travel and I'm planning on spending a lot of tomorrow and a little bit of tonight on editing some old footage for you guys and just catching you up to speed because I am planning on doing daily videos uh, throughout my trip, at least as many as I can pull off. Um, so I wanted to go over my car build with you guys. My dad and I built basically a platform in my car. Uh, we started off by taking out the seats of the car and I drive a Mazda 5. We took the seats out, it was really easy. I followed the directions on a website that I will link below. But we took the seats out and did our measurements and that we did on the first day of building. Basically we did this over the course of three days it was really cold out at the time, so it was really cold. So it was really hard to stay out there for too long, so we had to take, you know, a few breaks. And as soon as, you know, the sun started going down even a little bit, it just got too cold. So it made it hard, um, and it did slow down the process. Honestly, the amount of time we really spent on the whole thing. We could have gotten it done in two days, but we did it in about three half days. So on day one, I kind of mapped out what I wanted, you know, the general vision and design. And then on the second day, my dad, he just measured out the wood, which he got recycled doors on Craigslist for free. So we didn't even have to pay for any of the supplies and assembled kind of the skeleton of the design, which I am so, so grateful that he did that. Our work schedules just never naturally aligned. He went ahead and did that, which was super awesome. On day three, he and I, oh, roadkill, made the platform for it. So we just assembled more pieces of door and, you know, put it into the car and fitted it. And we decided to hinge parts of the platform so that I could access my storage underneath easier. And I'm so glad we did that. That's basically what we did in, you know, three sessions. Okay, we just finished the platform in my car. And I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of it. And this little area right here, this is gonna become my bed. Um, we decided to hinge everything just to give me better access to storage areas underneath. Um, that will be another project for another day, figuring out where everything will go. But that's the front area. And then if you go around the back, I'll show you what it looks like from the back. Gorgeous, not too shabby. So yeah, again, sleeping area here. I don't really know what I'll do with this space, but I'll probably put, you know, more storage right back here. Um, and then underneath, we've got a nice little area back there. Really big space back here. It does lift up as well. And this one I'll be lifting up probably every day. I don't know how often I'll be using this, the hinges back uh, towards the front area, but this is a really nice chunk of storage um, gives me full access to my spare tire and some tools and then it gives me full access to you know different different things ah, and such so there's that there's one over here which who knows how often I'll use those but I did decide to keep one chair in. I really just wanted to be able to sit back here uh, from time to time um, and I still you know will put you know a lot of storage items right here um, there is this very convenient storage compartment in the chair this also folds down flat if I ever needed to fold it down flat 
but I don't anticipate needing that. And then last but not least, there is a good chunk of space behind the chair where I can tuck away some wonky shaped items. So that is my first, I guess, little first big step to making my car livable. Next step is the bed. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. very grateful to have a handy dad and to all of the youtubers out there who have shown me your car designs I kind of you know pieced it all together based around other people's journeys but I'm feeling pretty dang pretty dang pumped right now so all right well I'm gonna end this footage right now and relax for a minute in my car. All in all, it was a really great experience. I would love to gain a little bit more skill in building. And the design for the car was super, super simple. So I wanted to be as involved as I possibly could be. And it was really fun. Other than the cold weather, it was really fun. I'm just so happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it and I look forward to showing you a full car tour. If this is your first time here, this is all about me getting to know the country and, and Canada as well. I'll be in Canada. This is kind of my first solo travel experience and obviously living out of my car makes it more complicated and more exciting. So I want to document it for myself, for my family, friends, and for anyone who's really interested in joining me. So please um, subscribe for my many adventures. Who knows what will really happen, but the fact is it's unfolding on a almost daily basis. And I'm I'm just really excited to share this with you all. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it inspired you in any way. And I look forward to posting more videos in the future and, and talking to you guys. So thank you so much. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Oh, that was good timing. <laughs>